Good morning to you. Wind and rain will feature highly in the forecast over the next few days. A pretty wild spell of weather coming up, to be honest with you. Now, last night was very mild indeed. You must have noticed first thing this morning how warm it was. Well, some places did have record minimum temperatures for November. And again, today we're up at 17 degrees in a number of spots, despite the wind or because of the wind. In fact, those winds are going to be around for the next few days. You can see them tilting back towards the southeast, actually. So gale force winds sweeping across much of the country during Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday with some heavy bouts of rain thrown in for good measure, so a pretty unsettled spell coming up. Now this morning we've seen this weather system coming in from the west. It's brought some heavy rain across Ireland, some heavy rain now running up through Wales, especially up towards northwest England into the western half of Scotland. There could be the odd rumble of thunder mixed in that, but quite clearly looking at the satellite picture, there is a back edge to it, so some western parts will brine up through the afternoon, some sunshine, but still some blustery showers to come. Now further east across Scotland, down through central and eastern parts of England, some brightness here and there, but generally a cloudy picture with some spits and spots of rain coming along, but most of it, I think, probably after dark. Well, tonight's temperature is still respectively high, though the winds will be picking up in the west once again, so about 8 to 10 degrees, typically. But there will be some rain around first thing, especially over Scotland, down towards central and eastern parts of England. That rain will gradually move away. Most places are just seeing light rain across the southeastern corner. But then across in Northern Ireland, more wet and windy weather arriving before breakfast time. That's a deepening area of low pressure, and you can see all the isobars packed in there, so a pretty wild day coming up on Monday. Some central and northern parts starting off reasonably dry and bright, but this rain pushing in relentlessly as we go through the day, so most places turning wet, but again, on the mild side, it's about 14 degrees. The weather system's rather slow moving across Britain during Tuesday, so many areas will stay cloudy without breaks of rain, and temperatures then beginning to tumble because we will see colder winds developing from the southeast, so maybe just 10 degrees up there through Yorkshire down towards Norfolk by that time. The weather fronts are still around on Wednesday as well, so again it's a pretty cloudy scene, but the far southwest, maybe into the channel, will begin to brighten up with some blustery showers following. And you can see then we're down to single figures, so 8 or 9 degrees possibly with that cold wind still blowing, and maybe severe gales up in the northeastern part of Scotland by that time. Now towards the end of the week, although it's still basically windy, you can see the strongest winds begin to move away northwards up towards Iceland, and weather fronts get a bit of a move on. So we'll see the wet weather continuing across Scotland, far eastern parts of England, before returning to blustery showers and sunshine during Thursday and Friday. And that's it from me for now.